Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Earlier today I went to the hair shop down the road. It's so convenient having like a beauty supply store so close by, but it's also dangerous. I have to like really control myself. But I picked up some stuff today because I have run out of shampoo, conditioner, pretty much everything really. So I went and got some new stuff, so I'm going to show you what I got. So the first thing is this shampoo. I've used this before and I love it. If you haven't tried it and you have curly hair or like dry hair, mixed hair, I think you would really like this. This is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Sulfate Free Moisture and Shine Shampoo and this works so well with my hair. It almost feels like I've already applied conditioner. That's how moisturizing it is. So I love this, highly recommend it. And it gives a nice shine. It's not too greasy, it's just perfect. I love this. I got a couple of conditioners. Um, let me tell you the price of that one. That was £3.29. This is the first conditioner I got. I've tried this before. Um, I finished one top and this is a repurchase. So this is the Beautiful Textures Rapid Repair Deep Conditioner for Mixed Textures, Curly, Wavy, Kinky, Coily and Frizzy. This was £3.99 and I love this. I first heard about this from Tasha X Green on YouTube. I had never heard of this brand before and um, I decided to give it a try. And I'm so glad I did. I love it so much. I love the smell. It really like um, defines my curls a little bit more and moisturizes very well. Smells amazing. And yeah, recommend it. Love that. The next conditioner I got is Silicone Mix. Now I'll tell you the backstory to this. Basically, <laughs> when I first came to England, um, I had relaxed hair and I didn't really want to do it myself I didn't want to relax my hair myself so I went to a few different salons and every single time I was disappointed um, I thought that if I went to salons that were like primarily black salons that they would know what they were doing and they would know how to handle my hair but it, I feel that they were more used to coarser hair textures they were all Nigerian salons I'm not really sure it could have just been them like these specific salons were just all bad but I just had no luck so I was so annoyed and um basically like the problem was they were putting the relaxer really messily they would handle my hair very roughly they wouldn't listen to me when I would tell them that my hair process is quick um they would be like just a few more minutes a few more minutes and i'll be like no like it's enough and when i would finally get them to wash it out they'd be like oh wow it's straight and i would be like that's what i was trying to tell you and this happened at three different places so i just gave up i started to do my relaxers myself then i was like let me look and see if i can find anywhere else that knows how to do relax as well that can handle sort of mixed textures and stuff so i did a little bit of research and i found this dominican hair salon and i've been mistaken for dominican before so i was like hmm maybe i should try that place and i went there and the first time i went it wasn't the best experience but then they expanded to a bigger salon and it was actually quite decent so i started going there and they used this product um silicone mix as a treatment and my hair felt so nice afterwards so i just i didn't even think to look for it in a shop but today i saw it and it was really expensive it's 14.99 but i decided to buy it because i remember when i used to go to that salon that um used to make my hair feel really nice and soft anyway so after that i found like some other salons that were good so um papa chichi style she's a mobile hair salon hairstylist she's very good and hickers in camberwell they're very good so if you guys are in london i did find some salons that actually work but yeah decided to give this a try that was a really long story but basically when i first got here i had some horrible experiences with relaxers <laughs> the next thing i got was also from beautiful textures this is the curl definer styling custard um i just got this on a whim Today is my birthday and I might wear my hair out. So I wanted something to sort of define my hair. I used to use like this Paul Mitchell stuff, but I don't know where I can get that here. So I just got this. Um, this was $3.99 and it says that it's for mixed textures, curly wavy, keep curly frizzy, just like the other one. It says that it gives intense moisture. What else does it say? So curl defining. Um, 
non flaking hold curl separation tame frizz no build up and whatnot so hopefully this will work out and the reason i picked this up is because the first ingredient is actually um well the first ingredient is water but the second ingredient is aloe so i thought that was quite interesting and it looks really good it has ginseng root vitamin e rosemary extract coconut oil shea butter mango butter argan oil wheat protein so it looks pretty good didn't look too synthetic so i was like okay let me give this a try so i'm gonna use that tonight also got some leave-in conditioner this one is from giovanni and i got this because my friend shanae and her sister chanel really likes it hello if you're watching um this is the dirac leave-in weightless moisture conditioner and um yeah i've never tried anything from giovanni before so i'm gonna try this out but i know when they used it it really made their curls pop and yeah much more defined softer and whatnot so looking forward to trying that also got some gel this is the eco styler professional gel this is the olive oil one and on the side here if you didn't know there's like a sort of guide from soft hold up to max hold this one is number 10 on the scale of max hold it's alcohol free even though it's number 10 it doesn't make my hair like crunchy or hard it's still sort of like soft in my hair and it doesn't flake so that's why i like it and you just need a little bit this was 2.49 so pretty cheap and what else did i get got some of these little packs of conditioner i opened this one because i was using it on some extensions but this is the palmer's coconut oil formula um deep conditioning protein pack my friend really likes this so excited to get it I got another ORS um, hair repair and nourishing conditioner. This is the banana and bamboo one. I cannot find like a bigger thing of this. I really want to buy like a tub of it or a bottle, but I only can find these little packets and I love this so much. If you haven't tried it and you have curly hair, you should try it. It's really, really nice. And my friend gave this to me. Um, this is Dr. Miracle's deep conditioning treatment. And she said it's like really tingly and yeah so have to try that I'll show you a couple of other things these are brand new but I'll show you anyways I got this from Holland and Barrett like a couple of months ago or a month ago this is a hundred percent natural raw virgin coconut oil and it's always gonna say that it's like for cooking with or whatever but it doesn't matter you can use it in your hair of course as long as it's raw and virgin and um, yeah I've used about maybe a third of it, almost a half actually, and I love it so, so much. I've been using it on my body, like lotion. I put it in my hair, um, yeah, on my cuticles. I just love it. I've been using it for everything. I'm just obsessed. Love the way coconut oil smells, and I love that this is raw and virgin. Um, also, this is the Lush R&B Hair Moisturizer. I've showed you this before, but I went back and got the bigger thing of it and oops i am about a third i have a third left i would say love this i use this every single day on my edges on my scalp and then i put a little bit of coconut oil to seal at night and um yeah when i wash my hair um i use those products that i showed you and then i put a little bit of leave-in conditioner i'm gonna be using the giovanni one next time but after that i put a little bit of coconut oil on the ends and it just helps to seal in all the moisture so that routine has been working really well for me the cream of nature shampoo with the beautiful texture conditioner um leave-in conditioner and then a little bit of coconut oil that is like the perfect routine and then after i do that i blow dry it out on like a cool temperature um usually not every time um but i find that if i leave my hair like tightly curled the next day it's very flat and lifeless so i usually blow dry the curls out and then do whatever styles i want and it just helps to maintain my hair for the whole week otherwise it gets really tangled and just flat and lifeless and it, I, I just have to do more to it so i like to blow dry the curls out a little bit not on high heat on very very low heat and that is working really well for me so 
Um, if you're wondering, this ponytail is, um, what is this? This is the boutique um, wave, boutique bohemian wave, I think it's called. Like what Brainy Lee uses. This is one pack, just brushed out, and I sewed it onto like an elastic band and made like a ponytail. So I had it up higher um, on Instagram, you can check that out. But I kind of like it low. It looks a little bit more natural, I don't know. And I decided to also get a silk scarf, it's really long. So I've pretty much put it on my hair like this, then bring it to the front, tie it, and then put my bonnet over it. I braid my hair down every single night in two sort of cornrow braid things. And um, yeah. So if you guys have tried any of these products or if you have any other recommendations of things you think I would like, please let me know below because I love trying new things lately. So yeah, that's about it and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.